just going to set myself up on a section of a line, and now I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to demonstrate to you time. So what we have, what we're going to do is attitude power rudder trim. What do we do first? Bill, look out. And cockpit checks. Cockpit checks. All right. So we're going to look out. We're going to look all the way to the left. Around. All right. And next, we're going to make sure everything is good. So master's on. Nothing popped out. In, and we're going to do mixture rich. Okay. And that we're going to set our we're going to set our pitch up. Okay. Now that we have up, now we're going to add power. As we add power, we have to make sure we watch that rudder because we're going to get more of the adverse yaw. Okay. This is a climb. See that it's just like a pitch up, going up, and you can below, you can see that we're climbing. All right, going back, we're going to this, leveling out. This power, we're going to have to use a little less rudder. Okay, next I'm going to show you the descending. Okay. That's what we got to look out. I'm going to do, um, Proper checks, make sure everything's working just fine. Make sure it's rich. We're gonna do a sl slow descent and we're gonna reduce power. And we're not gonna use as much, we're not gonna have to use as much as rudder because uh, of less power. Okay. And this is a descent. All right, going back. Is that a two after? No? Power attitude. No power. Ah. Pigeon Lake Area Traffic 172, okay. Golf Delta Hotel, Romeo. So let's just Kern, put it back into descent. Eight, nine miles All right. Pigeon Lake, we're northbound. Availability is next. Any click traffic, Delta Hotel, Romeo, mind. Pigeon Lake. And you can tell me how to level off from a descent. Okay, so from a descent, add power. You can tell that nose is going to want to go up. We're going to go back to that cruise attitude, and we're going to have to add a little bit more Rudder, because we're getting more of that adverse yaw, and then re trim. Okay. All right, and that is climb some sense. So that's what you're going to be learning with next time. Okay. All right, I have control. I feel a lot better with that so demonstration. For a fam demo, that's fine. Yep. Okay, short and sweet, that's okay. Uh, when you're going to do your demonstration to me next day, when you're going to teach me climbs and descents, you're going to have to be a Detailed. So I'll give you a demonstration of that. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, in descending, we use every single day. What goes up must come down. There's multiple kinds of climbs: normal climb, best rate of climb, and best angle of climb, as well as there's two kinds uh, of descent. Bike area traffic. This is Delta 172, Gulf Tanker Bubble Fox, 4,500 feet, approximately five miles southeast of Pigeon. Uh, correction, Buck Lake. Heading for Pigeon Lake, uh, approximately 21 miles from Pigeon Lake. And power on descents and power off descent. So we'll start off by showing you just normal en route kind of climb. We're going to use 80 knots for that. So in order to do a climb, first thing we have to do is look out. So safety is always first, looking all the way around us, up especially because we're going to be gaining altitude. Then we're going to do our cockpit checks, which are just like pre-landing checks, which we'll get into. Master, mag, circuit breakers, our mixtures in, all our gauges look good. Okay. Now I've got a reference point straight ahead, and I'm going to pull altitude. So perhaps I'll set it on the G1000 if I want to using the altitude bug. So I'll say 4000, but I'm also just going to use a mental note. But when I'm ready, if you're ready, I am. Okay, so I'm going to pitch to that nose up attitude just like we always do. We're going to let our airspeed slow down. Quick look out, back inside. Oh, I said that backwards, my apologies. Look outside, quick peek in. Our airspeed slowing down. I'm looking around me still to see my where I am. So I'm coming up on that 80. I'm going to add that full power. And I'm going to take this pitch attitude. Okay, outside, looking around. Any altitude, back 
look outside, looking around. I've got my peripheral vision to see my section lines. I know I'm going straight. Inside, my speed's still good. Back outside, looking around. Minor adjustments. Altitude, I can see I'm 100 feet within my altitude, so I know I'm going to have to get ready to level off. So as we come up to 4,000, I'm pitching back to that cruise attitude. You can hear the engine getting louder. Check my speed. Outside, power, I'm going to bring it back to cruise as we get close to our desired airspeed of cruise around knots. There's 24. Outside, holding that cruise attitude. Check my altitude. Outside. And I'm making minor adjustments with my rudder. You can see when I added all that power, I needed a little more right rudder, and then I had to relax it when I reduced the power. Now that I've leveled off from my climb, I would do my level off checks. So I'd lean out the mixture, make sure everything was set. So that's the normal climb. Questions? No. Okay, we'll use that one most often. Now we've also got best angle and best rate. Remember what best rate of climb was? The speed? Uh, well, sure, this, let's start with that. Best rate 70. Okay, and when do we use best rate of climb? When we're taking off. Okay, and what's it best used for? You're trying to gain the most amount of altitude for the least amount of distance. Uh, so it's going to not take you very long, right? It's, it's going to be quite quick. It's more about time than it is yep. about anything else. So in that case, we're going to go for 70, so the exact same procedure, but we're going to have to hold that nose a little bit higher up, a little steeper for 70. So again, really good lookout. I don't see anyone. Do you? Nope. Subject okay. in the vicinity of uh, Lloyd Minister, uh, the Mooney, Fox Cycle, Fox Mike, uh, with you at 9,000, certainly uh, 20 miles to the west of uh, Lloyd Minister. Um, looking to uh, start the approach for runway 26. We'll be uh, heading uh, roughly about 10 miles to the east of uh, Lloyd Minister. Um, Lloyd Minister traffic, Fox Cycle, Fox Mike. And my reference point straight ahead. Let's go for that climb. So I'm going to pitch quite a bit higher up because I'm going for 70 this time. Looking outside is really important. And for just above 10 degrees pitch up. Looking out, speed slowing down. And within five or so knots is usually when I add the power. So about there, full power. Traffic advisory, one, two, six, one, five, seven, and the Edmonton area, discovery, five, zero, three, medevac. See, we're climbing uh, quite quickly now. We're already at 46, so we'll level off at 46. Miles to the north, uh, Attitude, back to that cruise, finding our picture outside. Speed's There's picking up, you can hear the engine. Hey, yep. Hey, buddy, how's it going, man? Not uh, uh, bad, how about you? We're back at our cruise. We're going to do our checks, our level off checks again. Any questions about that? Nope. Okay. So because we're at 46, we've got to consider our altitude in this area. We can't go above that. So next I'm going to show you the power on descent. So power on, power off. They're pretty simple. They sound just like they are. Power's on or power's off. So before we do a descent, just like the climb, we're going to look around. Any traffic, especially below us. We also make a radio call. We haven't made one in a while, so do a quick one of those. Go ahead. Uh, we're west of Wabaman Lake, or Wabaman Factory. East of Wabaman. We're east of Wabaman. Wab Wabaman Lake. Wabaman Lake. Okay. Wabaman, Wabaman Lake traffic in an area. This is Cessna 132 Golf Echo Fox Char Charlie. Just southeast of. Wabam Lake will be working at 4,500 below. Correction, it is Echo Fox Julia. Excellent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all get a little tongue tied. Okay, so we'll start off that power on. So we've done that. Our cockpit checks. Make sure again, rich, fuel's good. We've looked below us. We've got our reference point. I'm going to make a little adjustment here. So for power on descent, we typically use about 1,700 RPM. We could do multiple different ranges, 18. 19, all kinds of different options depending on what you're wanting the performance of the aircraft to be. And we'll get into more details about that later on. There we go. We've reduced the power. The attitude wants to come down naturally, so I don't have to do too much. Check it out. I'm losing altitude. My speed's staying really slow. Not too much below our cruise, however, but at a good um, setting that I'm still getting a pretty good distance over the ground. Okay. Power looking good. Now with the descent, we have to start leveling off sooner because gravity works. So about 50 feet before 4,000, I'm going to start leveling it off. 
So still looking outside, got that attitude, everything looks good, check that altimeter, 4100, back outside, looking around, speed's good outside, altimeter, okay, there's our altitudes, we're going to add power, because we're wanting to use that power, adding right rudder as I do that, attitude, and I'm going to have to trim, notice how I didn't have to trim very much on that nose down, because I had enough power that it held it pretty nicely for me. And there we go. Leveled off from a descent. Now there's two more we got to go over. So power off descent and, of course, our best angle of climb, which is quite a steep angle of climb. So I'm going to do power off first. So again, looking around where we are, we're in a safe area. Cockpit checks are completed. Just made a radio call. So I'm smoothly going to pull the power all the way to idle. As I do that, I'm maintaining my pitch attitude. So I'm looking outside and straight ahead. Now, I've got quite a bit of pressure there. If I just drop it, the nose will go down quite a lot. So I'm just going to set a nice gentle attitude, and I'm going to trim. Anytime we're in a power off situation, we're going to go for our best glide speed, which is about 68 for a 172. I'm going to pitch for that, and I'm going to trim to hold it. As I do this, I'm gliding. So I'm looking from the horizon to the cowling, horizon to the cowling. This gives me my glide distance or collision geometry. So from here, I should be able to sort out what field I could make it to. I was, for instance, landing in a field. Making minor adjustments with my pitch to control my speed. Power is controlling our altitude, and our pitch is controlling our speed in climbs and descents. Okay, coming up on my altitude of 35, I'm going to add that power back in. Lots of rate rudder in this case. And taking that trim off as I maintain that attitude. Adding that speed build up. We're leveled out. We can do our level off checks now. Good. Okay, I'm going to do a quick turn around, so I'll demonstrate a gentle turn to the right. Looking around for traffic. Everything looks good. We're in cruise here. Getting a little bit of turbulence. Yeah, it's not that bad. We'll go for about 15 degrees angle of bank, which is about there, Ooh, as I climb. Making little adjustments with my pitch. Definitely getting a little bit of updrafts here. Adjusting our angle of bank as we go around the corner. Looking outside, trying to hold the same picture. How do you know we're over the <laughs> plant of Wobbeman? You can definitely feel all that updrafts coming from that. You can get that smell, uh, all the soil and all that stuff they're doing down here. It does not smell very nice. That doesn't look really nice. <laughs> what kind of plantation is it? I'm not really sure what they do out here, to be totally honest with you. I see a school bus. Okay, so we're going to do one last demonstration. This next demonstration, we're going to go over our best angle of climb. So this is used typically if we need to get over an obstacle quickly on takeoff. So it's a lower speed. Do you remember the speed? Uh, it's 55. No, it's... Uh, it's yeah, so 60s is what we're looking at here. So slower speed, again, if you're off by a knot or two, it's not such a huge deal, but we're going to do our best. Again, it's more about that picture outside. Okay, so before we do any climb, again, look out above, around, make sure there's nobody there. Did a radio call not too long ago. We're good. Mixtures rich. Cockpit checks. Everything's good and happy. <laughs> okay, okay, cockpit you, you not have secure. <laughs> you have control. I have control. <laughs> All right. So I'll have to start that one again. Okay. So I have control. You have control. Uh, this again. <laughs> Great. Cockpit is secure now. <laughs> Okay, in this next demonstration, we'll go through our best angle of climb use. Typically, if we have to get over an obstacle, and usually just after takeoff. So, first thing, look out. All secure above us is fine. Cockpit checks. Mixture is rich. All right. So, we're going to pitch. Notice how much higher up our nose is going to go. Okay, getting close to our speed. Add that power. There's our VX. There. Look at how much higher our nose is. But look at how much faster we're climbing now. 
Again, using our pitch to control our speed, I've got lots of right rudder in, looking around. Okay, um, with that, we can see, we can't see the horizon above us, right? So what we peripheral vision, so that's why we have to look to the side, right? Check inside, we're a little slow, so we're going to pitch down a bit. Okay, yeah, we, uh, we didn't see it at the crew room, so... So many people on the radio today. Okay, so as we come up to our altitude, we're going to slowly start coming out of that, or if we cleared our obstacle, we'd go to our VY. So I'm reducing my angle of attack, pitching forward. We came out of it just a little bit too early. You can see my speed's picking up nice. I still have lots of right rudder. A little more right rudder. As our speed's picked back up to our desired of cruise, we're going to start reducing it. We can do our level off checks again. So that's our best angle of climb. Questions? No. Okay. Ooh, lots of demonstrations there for you. Oh, it's okay. a lot, right? Yeah, so it's really important that we break it up and then I go in be just for like the airspace sake. An up one and then do it down <laughs> because the ears are stuck otherwise, right? It's going to be, unless you're in the practice area, which you can probably make it out to now for climbs and descents because going to start us into a nice um, Actually, you have control. I have control. So you feel, I don't want you to feel yucky or anything. Um, but in the on the way out to the practice area, what could you be doing? Um, probably getting them to fly straight and level. Uh, review, right? Maybe do a couple yep. speed changes, power changes. Get them to get really comfortable with this, making sure that they look outside. And, uh, and they could also start doing some more mixture control stuff. But I then kind of like when we have them straight level, things are going great with it, then introduce them. Absolutely. Oh, that's not what I want. Just a little bit. Okay, so we can uh, make a radio call and we're on our way back to the park a lot. I am a little disoriented, so okay. open link is right there. Where are we looking at? Uh, in case you do have a map in front of you. I know. But I don't want you to always use this as oh, a... don't always mm -hmm. use it, but you can use it as a reference. Stony Plains there, so it should be right there then. Yeah, and then Stony's up there, Spruce is quite a ways ahead. So that's Stony right there. We want to go a little further north. Do we want to, oh, at least we can come in. Oh, oh, we can do the south side, sure. That way we can just descend down to 33. Sure. Let everybody know what you're doing. All right. Um, we're pretty far off from Stony Plains. Uh, where are the power lines? To find those, you can just follow those in. Oh, they're over there. See them? Alright. Uh, yeah. Power lines start to curve up a bit, I think. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Alright, Edmonton there. Parkland's over there. Power lines have flown just south of Beach Corner, right? That's the area, so. South of Beach Corner, but how far would you say it would be? Golf, Delta Delta Hotel, Romeo. Well, probably like two, so three miles miles six, south. and a half okay. miles yeah, south of Stony Plain, 4,000 feet inbound for Villeneuve, any expected traffic, Delta Hotel, Romeo. Oh, yeah. What's okay, with the twins? chatters? Oh, to the twins. Beach Corner traffic area, this is Cessna 172, Golf, Echo, Fox, Shot, Juliet. Uh, descending now to 3,300, heading back to Parkland. We're just currently three miles south of Beach Corner. Any conflicting traffic, please advise Echo Fox Shot Juliet. Uh, there, there. Echo Fox Juliet, it's Oscar Echo Fox Track. Currently uh, one mile to the south of Stony Plain. We're straight westbound at 4,000. Copy that, Echo Fox Shot Juliet. We'll stay below 33 and it should be a conflict. We're going to just stay below 33, should be no conflict. Echo Park Juliet. Uh, 